Let's say the guys in peace be upon you this morning. So in this video, you're going to learn how to configure EIGRP routing protocol. So EIGRP stands for Extended Interior Gateway Routing Protocol. It's a Cisco proprietary routing protocol. That means that it was specifically developed for Cisco devices. Okay. All right. So I'll open a Google spreadsheet. Let me know that period number 10, part 2, EIGRP. So EIGRP is still um, it's a dynamic routing protocol and a distance vector routing protocol. So EIGRP and RIP both are distance vector routing protocol. Okay. So I'll open our notepad to align the step that we're going to follow to achieve the objective. AIGRP configuration. Draw the necessary topology, decorate and comment. So you can see I drew a topology using four routers. And um, I used specifically 2911 routers. And you can see my connection. Um, gig 00 on this router, 2 gig 00 on this one, this one, this one, that one, that one, that one. So make sure that you use 2911 router and do the following comment. Meaning between this and this router and this router, this network. This one, this one, this network. This router and this router, this network. This router and this router, this network. And this one is, this LAN is that network. And finally, the other LAN is that network. Very simple. And make sure that the first interfaces are connected to router to router. All right. So when I click here um, on the notepad still, we need to configure IP addresses to the routers and the hosts. So we need to configure IP addresses to the routers interfaces and the route and the host devices. Okay. So for example, let's use this network here. When we use this network, the first usable IP address will be 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 .1, and the second one will be dot two. When you use this network, the first usable will be five, the second will be dot six. This one will be dot thirteen and dot dot fourteen. Dot nine and dot ten. And the subject mask remains 255, 255, 255, 252. Alright. So let's configure IP addresses to the interfaces very very fast to save time. I will start with this router and configure gig 00 and gig 02 and gig 0 gig 01 and gig 02. Very very fast save time. Okay, guys, so I've done the IP addressing to the router's interfaces, right? So I'll proceed to configure host devices. Remember, this LAN here, the default gateway of this LAN is the IP address of this interface. The default gateway of this LAN is the IP address of this interface, okay? So this interface is 10.1.1 and this interface is 2.1. So I did very, very fast to save time to. Okay guys, so I've done IP addressing both on the host devices and the router's interfaces. So I'll go back to our notepad and step 3 says that we should configure EIGRP. We, could, we should configure EIGRP in all the routers to advertise the directly connected network. So we normally configure EIGRP to only advertise the directly connected networks. That's how we configure dynamic routing protocols. We only advertise the directly connected networks. So for example, on this router here, router 2, we have three directly connected networks. This one, this one, and this one. For router 0 here, we only have two. This one and this one here. 
so you're going to advertise the directly connected network so let's start with router 2 come to CLI and say exit so the first thing that we do we make the router aware that it's using EIGRP as the routing protocol okay so we just say router EIGRP then there's something different uh, different uh, with EIGRP that we didn't do in RIP it's called the system of autonomous system autonomous system is just the domain the area of application okay so let's say these routers have the head of application or autonomous system number of um let's say it's 30 okay something like that you can use your own number okay all right so autonomous system number is basically used to identify the area of application okay all right then we hit enter then we say what we advertise the directly, the directly connected network so the first network is we just say network is let's advertise this one 102.168.1.0 then there's this concept of wildcard mask instead of writing a separate mask we inverse it we do the inverse and we write, we write the inverse the inverse of two of slash 25 the inverse of slash 24 notation is equivalent to 0 0.0.0.255 0 0 if you don't understand the concept of a wildcard mask kindly do more research on it it's very very simple all right then we hit enter the second network that we're going to advertise let's advertise this one just say network uh 10.10.10.0 the wildcard mask of 0 0.0.0.0.3 should i start the notation the wildcard mask will become this one and you hit enter then we go to the third network, which is dot four. Dot four now there. Then we enter. We exit, and you do right. We are done. EIGRP configuration on this router. So what I just want to copy is just to copy this one. Okay. So let's move to this router. We are going to advertise this network and this network. So we just do it very very fast, and uh, exit. And uh, just make the router aware that it's using EIGRP with the, with the autonomous system number of that. And let's advertise uh, dot four and dot twelve. So I change this one to four. Okay, you can see they are from neighbors. Okay, with this router here. So another one is the, the twelve. And we enter exit. They were only two. And do right. So when we go back here, we advertise this one and this one. So I just did very fast to save time. Exit. Router. EIGRP with the autonomous system number of 30. Then the network is that one. Hit enter. You can see it has formed adjacency with 1010.1, which was the period of this interface. Okay. Then another network is 101010.8. Um, so I change this one to 8. And I hit enter. Exit and do right there so finally we go to this router and advertise how many networks three this one this one and this one so when i start here i uh, exit a router eigrp with the autonomous system number of 30. then the network is uh let me advertise 10 10 it's 10 10 10 8 and 10 10 10 12. so i change this one to 8 first and you can see it has form adjacency this one sh also should uh, form adjacency you can see it has form adjacency all right so finally let's advertise this net which is a uh, uh, network uh, 12.168.2.0 the wildcard mask of 0 .0 0.0.0.255 and we enter exit and do right guys it's very very simple and we are done with EIGRP configuration pretty much simple you only advertise the directly connected networks and how do you do that first you have to make the router aware that it's using EIGRP as the routing protocol with a specific number as the autonomous system then you advertise the networks using the wildcard mask you can also you can also use a uh, separate mask okay both will apply okay but in this case, I'm using the wildcard mask. 
instead you can even use 255.255.255.252 or 255.255.255.0 if you like okay all right so we want to test communication let's say from this computer which is a uh, 1.20 to this one which is, which is 2.20 so i'm just going here and i say ping uh, one two dot one six eight dot two dot twenty. Just have to give it some time. It will ping because you configured EIGRP successfully. All right, you can see everything is working as expected. So let let's test out. So you can see the path that the packet follows to the destination. The first thing it goes to our default gateway oh sorry i wrote 20.20 20, which was wrong so i'll write 2.20 2 i wrote two. you can see here it's 20.20 20, okay so um, i'll just correct it now it's fine you can see we are going from our default gateway then you go to uh 10.10.2 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 was this one then you go to 10.10.14 10, which was uh 10.10.14 10, 10, is uh is this ip address okay then we go to the destination okay all right so guys basically i believe this video has really helped me now to configure eigrp which is cisco proprietary routing protocol and so when we meet next we're going to do a spf a spf we're going to do a normal spf a single area and a multi-area or spf then finally we do bgp thank you so much guys please subscribe to my channel like this video, share with friends, and drop a comment below in case you have any doubt, a suggestion, or contribution. Bye, and see you again in the next project. Bye.